hey my loves welcome to vlogmas day 17 how are you guys doing today i know it's it's hard for those of us that are doing vlogmas and keeping up with all the days but i promise it's gonna be worth it in the end you're gonna it may look like you're not getting nowhere right now but in the end you're gonna look back and we're like oh dang i really did actually come really far in just doing vlogmas alone and trust me the discouragement is real but you gotta just keep going like nike say just do it just don't give up because the benefits is going to be greater in the end that's my little positive message for you guys um before we get sh into this video make sure y'all like this video up subscribe to my channel turn that post notification bell on so you'll be notified when i drop another video which is going to be all the way until christmas um but today 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 may i look at my hair <laughs> today we are about to customize a wig or dye wig style it all that all that good stuff that's what we're about to do let me get the wig real quick let me show you how bad it looks This is the wig. This is what it looks like. It's an old wig. I stole it from out my sister's closet. I didn't actually steal it. She let me take it. And I'm about to revamp this motherfucker, okay? That's what I'm about to do. I did not want to go buy another wig for just a couple of days. Y'all know I don't wear wigs. So it's great to have sisters that do wear them that you could just go to their closet and get it whenever you need one. So this is the wig. Oh, sh yeah, whatever. This is her. This is her. Sing. <laughs> Anyways, so we about to style this wig and uh, see what we can turn it into. Hopefully, we can turn it into something good, guys. Y'all gonna be here for the journey. This is gonna be my first time actually styling the wig and everything. Normally, I would get the wig, which is probably I probably wouldn't even wash it to be honest. I'll probably just comb it out, flat iron it, and curl it, whatever the case may be. And slap it on my head but this one i'm actually doing some work to it so hopefully it comes out pretty good so i'm not gonna keep you guys too long we're gonna get straight damn your head keep coming off i'm sorry we're gonna get straight into this this video here i don't know whether i should be right here probably like this but i'm about to mix the here that I, I guess maybe I should um comb it out first and all that. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so yeah, the first thing I'm about to do is uh mix our colors together. I got two ruby reds and a crimson. And I'm about to mix it with the 40 volume developer. And we're about to see how this is gonna go. Um, I think I wanna try just the two reds first and put them together and see how they go. Guess I gotta open it up first. Huh?
Now what I'm about to do is first get this brush and I just see if my mom have some bobby pins and I'm gonna get a warmer bag because I just got this wig thing, this thing, and I don't wanna get dye and stuff on it. So I'm gonna put a bag over this, then put a wig on top, bobby pins, pin it down, and we'll get started. All right, got the bag. Um think that uh okay. bag on here. I'm gonna suffocate. together pin this side down so her head won't be moving her hair won't be moving while I'm combing it out I see for real okay. if I put it back y'all can't see me cheese cheese Louise. All right, that's pretty good. That's probably as good as y'all gonna get. Ooh, girl, you need some, a lot of TLC. But don't worry, I'm gonna try to shake you back. Cause you gotta be shook back before I can put you on. Put you on before. Okay. It's a really nice hair though. Like, just need to be shook it. <laughs> I heard when I said it needs to be shook it. Um, probably should have asked her. Uh oh, some gloves too. Let me go ask her for some gloves and bring her pan back. You guys, she had some gloves, so we got some gloves. Yes, so gonna get this started. Excited, y'all. I had a long day. Today was my first day of work. I keep cramping or something. Oof. Today was my first day of work. Y'all know I had to get up for. 6.30 was when I had to clock in for work. Bro, I was sleepy the whole entire day. Like, the whole day I was sleepy as heck. And I think I went to bed at a reasonable time. But baby, look, I was sleepy. 
Let me pull y'all closer so y'all can see what I'm actually about to do. But yeah, uh, overall though, towards the end of the day after I had got coffee and stuff, it was pretty smooth, but the beginning was so rough. So rough. I don't know. I'm just gonna leave this the way it is. I don't know if it's parted down the middle or not. But all I'm about to do is apply the dye. And really what I wanna do is I wanna keep the, um, I wanna do like an ombre-ish way. So I wanna keep the roots like brown and I want the rest of the hair to be red. This is about to be a whole mess. Good thing I decided, yeah. Yeah, gonna be a whole mess. A whole mess. Um, yeah. I probably should put a bag or something on the floor because there will be something all over the floor. And yeah, I'm just gonna get messy and just put, oh shit. I wasted this stuff on the floor already. Hold on. Let me wash my hands. It's crazy how you wash your hands with the gloves on. Feel like your hands is wet, but your actual hands not wet. It just the glove is wet. That'd be pretty cool. So I'm about to uh, put something down on the floor because I done made a mess already. I done made a mess already. Hopefully, it comes up. And it's like, I don't even care at this moment in time that I made a mess, to be honest. But if it gets bad, put it down here. Beautiful. ring light had died it's on the charger now and i think i think i'm going to take my hoodie off so i don't get it messed up messing with me my hoodie will get messed up about no red dye get on this shirt so man I really hope this turns out the way I envision it to and all I'm about to do is just slap this stuff on here I'm not even gonna cap to you um about to slap it on there and hope for the best I put these gloves back on. <sighs> A 
lucky I'm using gloves because when I used to dye my hair, I just used all my straight hands and put the stuff on my head. Sometimes I would use one of them brushes, but the brushes I have is too small for this wig to be trying to do all of that. I just want to saturate it oh uh, I wonder if I just dip the whole wig inside the bowl and just cover the whole wig up will that be bad Yeah, I don't know how this gonna come out because I'm not bleaching it. All I'm doing is just this is what I really want to do. I would even possibly put in a sink, but I just want to dip the whole wig inside the bowl. Maybe not the wig cap, but the whole wig inside the bowl and just saturate it. I'm about to try that. Let's see what happens. Hold up. Yeah. Don't talk about me in the comments. And don't tell me the right way was. <laughs> tell me y'all can tell me y'all can y'all can give me y'all criticism. But this is what I'm about to do. I'm about to get this in a boxer. It's a bit messy, but um, separating them by tracks and then oh let me get this part up here separate this even though this already separated with stuff now I'm gonna take the next section Do the same. But yeah, uh, y'all, so I've been getting like I would I had got a message from a comment or whatever from a uh, 
a subscriber she was asking basically like how do i i guess she was asking how do i stay motivated but or something like that you know to continue doing vlogs continue doing youtube but doing youtube that's something that i've always wanted to do but i always start and stop and this time um i've been getting like i do i like doing those readings and things getting my tarot reading and stuff like that and i had been getting a lot of positive um affirmations like i do my po my affirmations every day write them out in a notebook or my affirmation notebook or whatnot and just speak what you want you can't be negative you can't speak negativity because whatever you speak that is what you're going to get so i tell myself every day that even though i get discouraged i'll be like you know it's always going to work out better in the end as long as i stay consistent and keep working at it you're going to get where you want to be at in life you just got to believe in yourself have faith in yourself pray and just do it like you can't expect to accomplish your dreams overnight it's going to take time and remember your why like focus on that keep that in your mind in the forefront of your mind when you're when you get discouraged think about the long run how this could affect your life if this is something that you actually want to do like being a content creator um youtuber whatever what have you this is what i want to do with my life so i'm gonna do what i can to get there and like i said it's not gonna happen overnight and i understand that nothing happens overnight you ain't gonna get rich overnight you work a nine to five you could be working a nine to five for your whole life trying to get rich and it just don't work like that. And even though, like I said, I get discouraged from, you know, going to sleep, waking in, waking up. Like, I would look at my subscribers, for instance, and I'd be like, ooh, I have this many subscribers. By tomorrow, I want to see where I'll be at. And then the next day will come, and I would be at a totally lesser number than I was before and that easily 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 discouraged me like damn how I went to bed last night with 930 subscribers and now I only got like 915 like what happened to all 30 of those subscribers but I know that during the day, I promoted my, my my YouTube, like gained all these subscribers just for them to either, one, I don't know if this is what's going on, go, they're going back and unsubscribing, or YouTube realized that they're not really real subscribers in the first place. So I would take it as YouTube are claiming that there are people that's not really real subscribers and removing the ones that are bad and keeping the ones that are good. So that's what I try to keep in mind because every, even still, if I would gain, if I would gain about 10 subscribers that day and come back, it's probably a little bit less than what I started with the day before, but at least those subscribers still sticking or whatever so i don't know my boys is my why like they're my motivation to keep pushing no cap um like this lifestyle working nine to five that is not something that i see myself doing for the the rest of my life like i see myself doing youtube um creating different makeup videos doing hair routines um just vlogging my everyday lifestyle traveling um and i can't travel with the nine to five 
I can. And especially with my twins, I don't even want to really work a nine to five, somebody that's gonna not care about my own well being. Like, no. And if I do content creating, that can be my hustle. Like, that's my hustle. I make money on my own time. I'm, I make money when I want to type thing. So, um, I don't know. I just always see myself working for myself, making my own money, being in control of my own pockets. That's all anybody could ever want, right? So, that's my, that's my way to stay motivated. I don't think about the negative. I try not to dwell on the negative. Yet in the moment, I'll be like, man, this is crazy. I'm not getting no subscribers that I want. My views are still stuck at 20, 20 views a day on each video. I would easily get discouraged. And this, trust me, I understand that feeling wholeheartedly totally understand it but you just can't give up like if you work your nine to five and you keep quitting you ain't gonna never save no money you ain't gonna never make no money if you you know quit or give up the second you something happens you gotta push through you gotta stay strong pray about it and trust that you will get through whatever it is that you're going through and that's basically how i stay motivated i know ain't nothing is gonna come easy and y'all gotta remember that shit too ain't shit cheap ain't shit easy if it was easy we'd all be making it out here fast Quick, fast, and in a hurry, we be out there motherfucking rich, all of us. But it don't work like that, guys. It just doesn't work like that. Okay, so I pretty much got this side done. I'm trying to uh get the hair over so I can... See what needs to be done now. Oh, I think the color is coming out. See, I don't want it to be red, red. I just want it to be a dark burgundy red, like a dark burgundy color you know a little fall style or whatever i should see how much uh dye is on this bag on the floor but yeah y'all i know how bad y'all want to give up but don't do it don't do it just give it a few more months of consistency this vlogmas really tests really tests you for real for real that puts you to the test um i know when i first started i was like man i don't know how i don't know what to do what kind of content i'm about to record what the heck how did i do this side like what am i about to do for real what type of videos I'm gonna record? What type of content? Like, what what the heck am I supposed to do? And every day, I just keep coming up with these different ideas of what to do. And it's just like, wow. Like, I wrote it down, I wrote the vision down, and I made it plain. Like the Bible say, write your vision, Make a plain, read it, read it that the that he 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 that may read it will see your words. I don't know something, 
something of that nature. I'm gonna, I'm gonna find it and I'm gonna share it with y'all. But write your vision, make it plain. Whatever you want out of life, write that shit down. And I promise you, the tongue is a powerful weapon. Whatever you say, whatever you speak, will be in come into existence. So you speak negativity, you keep speaking negativity and saying, oh, I can't do this, it's not gonna, and, and believing that you really can't do it, it's not gonna happen at all. Promise you, it's not gonna happen. But if you change that mindset and be like, I can do this, I, I can, like, I will do this, this is my goal. Stick to that shit, don't, don't stray from it. If that's what you truly believe in your heart, that you can do it, man i would say go for it but i always speak positivity um on your life speak it on your life because everybody else speaking negativity on your on you they're not trying to see you win like that for real that's why you got all these unsubscribers you got people subscribing and unsubscribing they don't want to see you win for real and they say that it's always going to be strangers that's going to support you before your friends and family. And that shit is true, too. That shit is 100% true. So I don't get upset anymore when I see people. When I when I when my friends don't support me like that, I don't post on Instagram like talking about because them is only my friends that don't really support me like that for real. I promote on Facebook and I promote on Snapchat. Those my weird supporters. Them, them were my supporters at be, be at for real. But I do post on uh, Instagram every now and then. How can I help you? Uh, yeah, my brother came in here talking to me, so I kind of lost my train of thought. But uh, yeah, your uh. Friends and family, unfortunately, I'm sorry to tell y'all, they're gonna be the least of y'all supporters until y'all until they start seeing how big you becoming, and then that shit gonna be too late. Nah, stay where you was, stay exactly where you was at before, because nah, don't try to come to me now that you see me, that you see my shit popping, and I'm making this money that you said. I couldn't do you frowned at me because you said because I said I want to be a conspirator I don't want to be a doctor I don't want to go to school for to be a nurse or something that you want me to do or something that you're doing something that you're going to school for 50 50 more years after you done graduated high school that was not me I did not see myself going back to school now don't get me wrong in the future I might try to I might go back to school but It'll be after my dreams of being a full-time content creator, making money from this shit. And the only reason I'll go to school is to be a um, interior decorator. But even then, I don't feel like I need to go to school for that. Why? Why should I need to go to school to be an interior decorator? I don't know, but yeah, if this is your dream, if this is what you wish to accomplish, don't say never, never say never, don't say never, because it's going to be never, just Set your goals, write them down on a paper or something, nope, in a notebook. Start your vision board for 2024. I got my vision board, I'm gonna show y'all. I'm definitely gonna show y'all. Put a clip up in here, show y'all my vision board. Make that vision board and see how much of it comes to pass if you actually put in the work that it takes to get there. You gonna see, you gonna see what I'm talking about. You gonna see exactly what I mean. But oh 
hopefully my words of encouragement have gotten stronger to y'all and it outweighs the negative thoughts that you guys were having. I hope that it did. Um, I also watch like, I also watch like uplifting YouTube video YouTubers, like, you know, telling about their journey, like, um, how they got to where they was. It was just like us. Um, struggling to get viewers, struggling to get subscribers. And they just stuck at it, kept going. They would fall off sometimes, just like we do. But they would get right back up and try it again. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. That's what I was always taught growing up. I, I don't quit. Once I put my mind to something, it's stuck there for life. Like, ain't no quitting in me. My parents raised a go-getter. And if it's something that I'm passionate about or want to be passionate about, I'm a Virgo. So I'm going to keep doing it until it's perfect. This wig here, if it's not perfect, by the time I get done, I'm going to still wear it because I know it's still going to be cute. But at the end of the day, I'm going to keep trying at it until it's perfect. So it's where I want to be. Ain't nobody teaching me how to do this. Nah. Was I on YouTube all day trying to figure out, trying to make sure that I'm doing the right? Hell motherfucking yeah. Because everything on YouTube... And you think I'm trying to be a YouTuber, okay? It can happen. Some, it can happen overnight. Some, it'll take a few months. But you just got to trust the process. Sis, trust the process. And like Nike say, just do it. Don't think about what people might be thinking about you. What your family might be saying about you. Fuck them. They ain't paying your bills. They ain't putting no food in your stomach. You living by yourself. You living alone. What does their opinion matter? You probably only see them once a year. They doing their own thing. They doing what they feel like, you know, was destined to be their lifestyle. So you do you. You do you and be happy, boo-boo. Do you and be happy with being you because that's the best thing you're good at is being yourself point blank motherfucking period be yourself ain't no sense in faking it i mean they say fake it till you make it in some cases that is true but not all cases i would say be your authentic self on youtube Cause it's only so long that you can act in a certain type of way. And y'all know motherfuckers can peep shit when you uh when you a certain when you act a certain way or whatever. People peep that shit. But That was the best advice I feel like I could have gotten, I mean, given. Be yourself, be true to who you are as an individual, so as a person. Fuck what anybody else got to say, cause they ain't living your life, you is. After all, you don't know if what you're making is the right choice, it's the best choice until you do it. And once you do it, then you can turn me, eh, I don't think this is what I want to do anymore. I think I have a different calling. Yeah, you can say that. But at least you can say that you tried. That's the most important part. You can motherfucking say that you fucking tried. 
And this is pretty much done. I think I got the whole head done, huh? Yep, I did this side. I did this side again. Or comb this side out. My wig, my uh, my stand all fucked up. It's cool though. My phone dying too. I got to get it on a charge. But I'm about to put this wig in the bag. So I'm about to wash my hands. Put my phone on the charger. Put this in the bag. And come back to y'all when I think that it's ready. So I'm about to attempt to untie this bag. Alright y'all, so it's been about 20-30 minutes. I got the floor cleaned up because it was desperate need. I had, it smells like bleach in here. My eyes was watering and everything. Cause I, you know, spray the floor down and stuff, trying to get all that stuff up. Cause I don't know how to get hair dye out of a floor. <laughs> like, how do you do that? My timer had a uh, So, uh, I'm about to pour this out of here. And I have this shampoo. Hopefully when I put this in there and wash that stuff out, it don't do nothing bad. So, this is trial and error. I'm just telling y'all that right now. And you about to go right in another bag and go straight to the trash. Okay. I'm not cleaning up. You know, another mess. Alright. And we wash. See what it's hitting for. I done dyed all the lace red and shit. It still look brown to me. Well, I guess this was an epic, epic fail. I tried, guys. I surely did. 
maybe I have to look at some more YouTube videos, I suppose. I guess that's what I have to do. Because this here still looks pretty brown to me. It looks pretty brown to me. Well, it was in desperate need of a wash anyways. So, even if the color doesn't come out right, I guess we can still style it and everything. But let me put this shampoo and stuff on it. And see how it takes. Let's see, it says, wet hair, lather, rinse, repeat. I'm about to try to um, do this part one more time and see how it will y'all probably let it stay on longer than what it was supposed to they said five minutes and my timer went off about 10, 10 minutes or so ago but it'll be all right i'm sure i'm gonna go ahead and wash this out not gonna say that i'm disappointed but i kind of am disappointed that the color is not the color that i was going for i was going for something just a little bit brighter than this but hey, it is what it is. It's still a wig. It's not totally damaged from what I can see. So, um, I'm gonna rinse it out and air dry it out. And hopefully, we can. At least style it good, so it's not going to do anything else. I guess we could style it good. I definitely tried to make this a different color. Disappointed that the color did not come out the way that I was hoping it would. Maybe next time when I try again. All right, I'm about to put this back on this stand here. It took a little bit of color, but not what I was hoping for. Stuff. It's, it's a towel down there on the floor. I'm gonna pin these back up here. Turn your head, girl. Let 
and pin the forehead down here. Oh geez, this looks very um not good. Hopefully we can uh, get it right. Hopefully, hopefully. Oh geez, this is really not good. Double not good. Really not good. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing, but um. You know, look how much hair is shedding from I'm not gonna lie. The color took damn I'm gonna keep pulling her head off. The color took a little bit, but not like I was expecting it to for real you know but it hit just a little bit i'm trying to make sure that i'm getting this up here right because something is not going on right up here Top of his head. Something is not right. Let me um, part this head in the middle. Maybe I'll be able to see right. battery light is dying again I didn't let it fully charge the first time alrighty now I'm about to finish trying to blow dry this hair and we'll be almost done Alrighty, y'all. I'm done blow drying this hair out. Um, it looks pretty good to me. It shooketh. 
for when y'all first seen it though. When how it was before, it looks better, better than that. I must say that. Now y'all can not give me that one. It does look better than it did before. Um, it's not all the way blow dried out, but I'm about to finish blow drying it out and stuff. And I'm gonna come back when I'm about to start flat ironing it and styling it and whatnot. All right, y'all, hopefully we can get this big forehead as mannequin straight. I'm about to flat iron her hair. And y'all about to watch me. So when I was watching a YouTube video, they were saying that the best way to get the hair, the middle part, flat, flat, is by using a wax stick. And I have this comb here. I'm tired, y'all. Last time I used this comb, it burnt my flat iron. So hopefully we can do better. And not the flat iron. But I'm about to show y'all what I have. This is this is what I had got. So I'm about to put this up here. Hopefully y'all can see it good. video was recording or not but I don't know if I'm doing this good or 
not. Oh shit, and there's the pan. Definitely don't know. 